Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking a chicken and chickpea stew. So let's begin. Okay, so I've got a large pot here. I'm going to turn the heat up to number um, 8 on high, nearly full high. And I'm just going to cover the base with some olive oil. So about four or five tablespoons. And we'll just wait for this to heat up. Okay, so once the oil is hotish, what we'll do is add the chicken and I'm going to gently brown it all off on all, on all sides. Um, let's add some salt to this. And in the meantime, I'll give these a rinse, the chickpeas a rinse, and I'll peel and cube the potatoes up. Okay, so once the chicken is sort of brown everywhere, I'm going to add the red peppers. These are frozen red peppers, which I freeze myself. <coughs> if you want to know how I do it, I'll leave a link in the description. There's no easy using it today. So let's move this about a little bit. And let them peppers fry also. Okay, so after about five minutes, once the peppers are sort of soft, what I'll do next is add the potatoes, which I've cubed up, small cubes, and just mix everything about. And we'll leave it there for another five minutes. Okay, so after about five minutes, the next step will be to add the stock cube. This is a vegetable one. You can use a meat one if you like, or a chicken one. I just crumbled it up, well, sort of crumbled up, because this is a sticky one. So that's there. And I'll also add in a teaspoon of sweet paprika. A nice generous teaspoon. And I'm going to add a bit of yellow food colourant also. Just a little bit. Wee! Just to give it that extra colour that I like. And I'll add the water. I'll just get a bit more. Right, so the water's in. I'll give this a little slight mix as best as I can. Ouch! And I'll turn this down to number seven, medium high, and I'll cover it up and leave it there to boil for 30 minutes. Okay, I know I said half an hour, but it's been about 15 minutes and what I want to do is add the chickpeas in and we'll just cover this back up again and leave it there for the next 15 minutes so it will total half an hour okay so that half an hour has gone by and this is ready. So let's turn the heat off and I'll just move it to one side and we'll serve it up. Okay so here's today's delicious lunch. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching 
I'll see you soon.